Asset Liability Management that is ALM. Here we are talking in the context of banking system. What is Asset Liability Management? Asset Liability Management or ALM in the banking context is a continuous process of planning, organizing and controlling the asset liability volumes within the bank, asset liability maturities within the bank, asset liabilities interest rates and asset liability yields. So ALM is not a one time process, it is a continuous process. It involves planning, organizing and controlling of asset liability volumes, maturities, interest rates and yields. What is the objective of ALM? Objective of ALM is to protect, to enhance what? Number one, the net interest income that is NII. Two, the net interest margin that is NIM. This is also called spread. Three, market value of net worth of the bank. So ultimately, the objective of asset liability management is to manage the assets and liabilities in such a way that enhances the solvency position of the bank by way of protecting its NII, protecting its NIM and protecting the market value of net worth of the bank. What strategy banks do adopt for ALM purpose? So banks broadly adopt three type of strategy. The first one is spread management. Spread management means to maximize the spread by reducing the exposure to cyclical rates and in that way to stabilize the earning. So banks identify those areas which are exposed to cyclical interest rates and they try to reduce those cyclical areas and that helps in stabilizing the earning of the bank. Second one is gap management. Under this, the banks try to balance the gap between interest sensitive assets and interest sensitive liabilities. For this purpose, they distribute the assets and liabilities into various time bands called buckets according to their maturity period. So assets and liabilities are categorized into various time buckets and placed according to their maturity period. Here interest sensitive asset means those assets which are repriced. Interest sensitive liabilities means those liabilities which are repriced means those assets liabilities which are impacted by change in interest rates so they are called interest sensitive assets. The third strategy could be interest sensitivity analysis. So this analysis is done to understand the impact of change of interest rates on banks margins on banks spread. Now, what type of risk is managed through ALM? So these risks broadly fall in two categories. So first is interest rate risk. Interest rate risk is further broken into gap or mismatch risk, basis risk, embedded option risk, yield curve risk, reinvestment risk and second category of risk is liquidity risk. 
so these are different risks that are managed through ALM now who is doing ALM within the bank so ALM is the responsibility of a high powered committee called ELCO or asset liability committee this committee is headed by chief executive officer of the bank thank you friends for watching this video I hope you have been benefited by the contents of the video thank you once again